Okay, so we're gonna continue with the, an ankle stability and mobility circuit. The first thing you're gonna need is a little towel, not that big, folded in four, and a chair. Okay, so the first exercise is a single leg base. Place that on the ground. You need a, a floor that's pretty slippery. If you're on a carpet, try to find something that slides, it's in plastic. So you can slide your foot forward, back, and lateral. First thing I'm going to explain. So, if I were to tuck my shirt in my pants, this is a straight line here. It's right on my bone, my hip bone. And inside the hip bone, there's a little bit of softness. Make it hard by contracting, nice and tight. You need to keep that. Now you're going to lower yourself onto a squat then you're going to lift and you're going to try to maintain that straight line here that contraction under and if i go sideways i want some sort of a dorsiflexion which means that this there's an ankle here i'm not here i'm actually going over my toes or so or so and then down a bit so it's a quarter squat hold, so single leg, leg base. It's gonna burn, just telling you in advance, it's gonna burn. So, again, place your hand, if you're in front of the mirror, it's great. I don't have a mirror, so I might be a little bit off. Hopefully not. Squeeze those lower abs, feel that contraction, keep your hands there. Now get that dorsiflexion, stay in line, First thing you're gonna do is slide forward and under. Two, we'll go 10 reps. Four, keep breathing. Abs are tight, I'm stalled. If I had the dowel, it would be straight. Let's forget about the dowel for now. Let's work on that contraction and straight hips. And 10, keep going, now lateral. One, and point, squeeze the butt, two, three, Four, nice and tall, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Finally backwards, keep going. And here I'm going to extend and squeeze. Extend and squeeze. Extend and squeeze. Four, five, six, seven, it's burning, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! And it's good to do those drill, those drills where you feel that burn and you have to live, be comfortable in the burn. Learning to be comfortable when you're uncomfortable. That's what sports is all about. When you need to win the game, you're gonna be uncomfortable. It's gonna be stressful, but you're gonna be zen, okay? So let's be zen, contract, down, First drill, and I want you to keep breathing while counting. Five, seven, eight, nine, ten. One thing I need to mention, you can take a break. I want you to have big toe, small toe, a nice arch that is gripping the ground. And both two contacts here, outside the heel, inside the heel. So I'm not here lifting that big toe or lifting the small toe, okay? So I'm gripping the ground, making an arch, keeping as if I'm strong and I'm pulling the ground from underneath. Good shin angle, abs tight, hands here, and we keep going, oh, we're lateral now, one. Two, three. I have a little bit of a lean on that leg. I know that, so I'm leaning this way. Try not to. I have to work on that as well, guys. And nine, ten. You're lucky I gave you a break because there's less of a break, a burn if we take a break. And we extend and squeeze, extend and squeeze. So 
that's A1. All right, now you'll need. You're gonna go here with the chair, nice and cozy. You're gonna plantar flex, dorsi flex. Point, split those toes, point those toes, spread them, point, 10 times. You bring everything, point everything. And down. Point, split, point, three. Give it all. Point, 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 point. No laziness. At the top, split those toes. Good. Eight, nine, ten. Now rotation. Point, dorsiflex. Go in all angles. 10, take your time, 8, 9, other direction for 10, point, point, I really want you to see pointing all the way, and 10, 1, you will probably notice that on one side, it's stiffer, it doesn't go as well, there's pain. We don't like that. And it's as simple as just rotating your ankles and we have pain. So make those rotations a little more often in your program and maybe you'll feel better. Next, you can hold on something, ideally not, okay? So, as if I'm going to be able to pass a credit card under my heel, so my heel will not touch the ground. So I'm at the ball of my feet. I'm going to go up, that big toe, and down, not touching the ground. Calf raise. Doesn't help me as I prefer to do it body weight. Four. Fifteen. Six. Don't touch the ground. Now, you don't want to go up like on the side of your small toe, you want to load that big toe. Go straight up, nine, 10, load that big toe, 12, 13, 15. Other side, heel is not touching the ground. One, two, three, Ooh. four, five, Ooh. seven, eight, Nine, ten, whew, oh, it's cheating, yeah. It's not easy. It's okay if it touches at first. Ah. Okay. Next one. Oops, you're gonna need a cushion. I always keep them handy. Half kneeling, so I'm 90 90, okay? I'm gonna place the stick outside my foot, I'm gonna keep my hips square, I'm gonna go and do an ankle mobility, not pulling the stick here, the stick must stay straight. And push, and push for 10 reps. So it goes like this. Move your hips forward, keep your heel on the ground. We switch sides, place the stick outside, make sure it stays straight, and move your foot forward. Take your time, you're alone at home. What else do you have to do? Watch Netflix? Later. Keep your hips square, and 10. Finally, if, it, if there's pains in your knee, just be careful. You're going to once again lift your heels off the ground, be on your toe, split those toes, you're a little wider than your shoulder blades, okay? So, you're going to squat without touching the ground and whoo, your heels are not touching the ground. 
Load that big toe, split those toes. If you can only go to here, just go to here. Hold it. If you can go lower, nice and slow, control the heel. Here, I'm off the ground, see? Half an inch or so. Use those toes, load that big toe. Split the toes. Nine. And ten. So that concludes the ankle mobility stability one. See you for the conditioning app.